Tonight, the strongest words yet from New York Mayor Adams about the challenges and costs New York City is facing from an influx of asylum seekers. The mayor now saying the migrant crisis, his words, will destroy New York City and impact every service for residents. All of this because of the cost of the crisis and no federal bailout. But his words have launched an unintended reaction. Here's Iowa News reporter Sonia Rincon. This issue will destroy New York City destroy New York City. In his most forceful language yet about the crisis, a City Hall spokesman says the mayor at his town hall last night was referring to the financial impact on city services if there isn't a lot more federal help, not that the migrants themselves are destroying the city. I said it last year when we had 15,000. I'm telling you now with 110,000, the city we knew we're about to lose. Still, some of the mayor's more conservative critics on the issue may have interpreted it differently. Eric Adams this morning said, we are doomed, New York are doomed. Protesters outside a Staten Island respite center for asylum seekers also today tried to drown out a group of faith leaders. Take them home with you. This is the devil's work. The leaders said they were there to send a message of compassion. It does not look like telling other people we don't want you here or saying go back to where you came from. Saying they have faith in the city to treat its latest wave of immigrants applying for asylum with dignity. This is not a new reality for America. This is the present reality for America. And condemning the misinformation and the hateful rhetoric. We hear the language of illegals or aliens. Uh, really, people do have a right to seek asylum. While arrests of asylum seekers have been rare, six migrant men were arrested this morning in Bushwick on charges including assault on a police officer, accused of forcefully intervening as police seized illegal mopeds and scooters on Flushing Avenue. As the city gets ready to open another Herc Center here that can house up to a thousand more people, the governor today said she's considering calling the legislature into a special session to help the city with the crisis.